Hey, I'll be uh, real brief and I'll open up for questions. Uh, guys are guys came back, started game week preparation last night. Had a uh, probably one of our best Sunday night practices yet, which was great to see. Uh, these guys uh, continue to show up each day, uh, determined to improve. Uh, felt like we had a great first first day of preparation last night. Excited about moving forward to start the second half of the season. Uh, a lot of football left to be played, and this football team knows that our best football is still yet ahead of us. Um, you know, you look at this Texas State team. It's a team that started out with a big win against a very good Ohio team start start of the year. I think they scored 56 points, uh, and then. They struggled a little bit offensively for two straight games, but then they've come back and they've scored about 35, 36 points a game the last three games offensively. So they have some offensive firepower, especially with their quarterback, Tyler Rogers, who is, uh, uh, does an outstanding job. He's a senior. He's been around this league for quite a while, and he, he does a really, really good job. Uh, offensive line-wise, I think they've got four starters back, so they give him time to do some things, and they've, they've got an experienced group up front. Uh, defensively, uh, you know, we've seen a couple of different looks in the last couple of weeks. I still still think they're they're trying to, to find their way right there a little bit, improving. Um, but uh, never, nevertheless, it'll be a tough trip going over to San Marcos um, to play those guys. And so, you know, first year in their in their program with uh, Coach Withers, I think he's going to do an outstanding job. He did a great job at James Madison, and it's no doubt that he will get that program uh, up and running quickly there. And, uh, but it'll be a, a great challenge as we head over there to continue Sunbelt Conference play. So with that, any questions? What are some of the challenges that Withers offense has I know Texas State has always kind of had a spread, but what's maybe specifically different about You know, a lot of things is somewhat a little bit similar to ours. There are a lot of RPOs, quarterback runs, some, some option in quarterback run play. Um, but they're going to spread the ball around, a lot of different uh, offensive sets, and they're going to play with tempo. Uh, they're going to play with a lot of tempo, so um, a lot of similarities in some ways uh, between what we, we're both doing offensively. Well, you know, with the way we played offensively, we do not want to get in, you know get into a shootout. That's that's for sure. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we can avoid that if all possible. Um, but if we're called on as an offense to do that, then that's what the offense will be called on to do. You know, hopefully defensively we can continue to play play well, and uh, if we can take care of the ball offensively, hopefully we can start getting some continuity. Uh, we've got to find some some continuity. Got to put together four quarters, and we've got to protect our quarterback, and we've got to make good decisions, and we got to spread the ball around to our to our playmakers. And so hopefully uh, hopefully we can find some some consistency and. I'm anxious to see see if we can improve this week. You mentioned post game uh, against App State that you felt like the offense identity you didn't know exactly what it was. You had some extra time. What is what is your assessment kind of look? Where, where this team can kind of go going forward? You know, we've always wanted to be able to run the football, and I still think you've got to be able to run the football to be successful. And uh, you know, we've got some some outstanding backs. We're young in the secondary. I mean, in, in the at the receiver uh, core. But uh, we've got some a big offense line. We've got some talented running backs. We want to be able to run the football, and um, and still be able to you know play action and take advantage of some of the things that teams do to try to stop the run. For us, we want to we want to run the football. We want to be a physical football team. And it, at the times this season when we have played physical and we have ran the football with success, that's when we've been the most successful. Great, you know, he had another good practice last night. Uh, he did everything we asked him to do the other night, uh, took care of the ball, uh, threw it away when he had to throw it away. He found the check down. He scrambled, made plays when it was there. Uh, you know, we, I didn't feel like we gave him a chance to really uh, uh, stretch the field a whole lot because of some protection issues. But the guy, man, he, he prepares like a champion, got a great attitude like like the rest of these guys. And so, man, life life's just sort of hitting him in the nose. and. And, but they're responding in an unbelievable fashion. So I'm, I'm proud of his preparation. Do, do you think you have enough variety in the offense? Play calling, playbook? Well, you know, if you, if, if you look back at what we've done so far, pro probably not, you know, because we have not been uh, as successful as we would like to have been. Moving forward, hopefully we can find a little more of that and try to, try to uh, 
create some, some matchups and try to get some more points. So we've got to score more points. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, we, that's easy to see. We've, we've, got to, we've got to score more points. And defensively, we're, we're, we're keeping ourselves in the ball games, but we've got to be able to score more points offensively. Well, Crawford looked really good. Matt Barnes uh, still got to get into the rhythm. Gary, although he's going to be available, um, don't know what percent yet. And uh, he's he's a guy that's got to get some work, get sort of caught back up. I don't know how ready he's going to be to just make a huge impact. Uh, a little rusty last night, but you know, just because he hadn't been out there in a while. He's a he's a quick study though. He'll he'll he just got to get confidence in that in that knee a little bit and. Um, uh, hopefully he can do that as the week goes along. And as he progresses, we'll determine how much we feel like that he can be a part of the game plan. Well, we, we like to. We tried to do it the other night. And, you know, whether whether it was a good job of those guys staying over the top and they forced you to come down to the shorter routes or if it was a protection issue that kept us from having time to get it deep. We're, we're trying to push it deep. It just don't always work that way. And you don't want to just throw it up for grabs if they're playing over the top of you. So that's not, you got to be able to push it deep when you feel like you can get behind them and create some way to get over the top of them. And so far, we have not done a very good job of that. Texas State's been one of the teams in the Sun Belt that you've had the number for whatever reason, three unique, three wins. Right. What has been behind that kind of effort as you look at those games and how they transpired? You know, I don't know. We've played awfully well when we've played those guys. Uh, in, in both sides of the football, we've played really well. Uh, over there and at our place, I'm, I'm hoping maybe this will be a game that you know that will hold true and we can continue to play well. You know, right now we're more worried about what we can do right now more than our opponent because you know we're we're our own worst enemies in a lot of different ways because of mistakes, miscues, things like that. And then hopefully now having some guys back from injury, hopefully Eli's going to be a hundred percent. You know, we really have not had him where he's been at in the last two games. And then Travis Crawford being back, some of those guys, hopefully that'll add a little spark to our to our team and in our preparation. How frustrating has that been for Eli? Because there was a lot of expectations of what he could possibly accomplish. He's accomplished some things, but yeah. just not being 100% for what it seems like a month now. Well, you know, considering he became all-time leading total offense leader, that's something he accomplished. That's pretty strong. Uh, needless to say, I think his his numbers could go even up once he gets – back to just being 100%. He's tried to do it when he hadn't been there, but he's doing it because he wants to help the team. And he's playing a little bit banged up, uh, but I really think last night he, he looked he looked good. So hopefully, hopefully he can uh, get back to some of the games that we were seeing earlier in the year, and that's maybe when we were playing much better also. Yeah, uh, Tracy uh, and Jamarcus both. Uh, probably will be a game time decision. Maybe later in the week we'll have a little better idea. Won't have much of an idea. I won't, at least. You know, I, I can listen to the trainers, but until I see them at practice tomorrow and I personally see them moving around, and I trust my own eyes, I'll know a little bit more after tomorrow's practice. You know, I think one tackling, one uh, being in the right position. You know, is it coming in, new, learning our new system, new coverages and things like that. Uh, you just had to, to understand what we were doing defensively. And I felt like that uh, he was in much better position the other night. And by being in better position, he made more plays. And uh, that was great to see because we needed to see some of that, some of those guys step up because it's, you know, injuries are a part of the game. We're not the only team in the country that's had them. And so now, that will give us some more depth and quality depth moving moving forward. Yeah, he has. You know what? He's he's really came on. But you know, we saw that coming in practice the last couple of weeks. He, his uh, development, maturity, a little bit is really uh, starting to show off, show up. And uh, I think uh, moving forward, I think he's a guy that can really really help us. And like I said, he's just a freshman. Jamarcus Bradley's just a freshman. The other night. Uh, when uh, when uh, our freshman running backs were in the game, we had five freshmen on the field one time. So we were playing five out of 11 were freshmen. And so that's exciting to see those type of young, talented players out on the field 
when you got Jamarcus Bradley and uh, Mike Jaquette on each side, and you got the two freshman guards, and then you have Raymond Calais, or you have our, our other running backs uh, that were freshmen back in the back end, so five out of 11, a uh, bunch of young kids, but they're, they're playing really hard. They're going to be exciting players. No, just, you know, not, not necessarily being in right position and not, not doing our job and, uh, you know, but they're, they're getting better. We knew that was a, a young group at the guards. They're, they're getting better. We're run blocking right now, I think, pretty good. We've got to continue to improve in our pass protection. Uh, and it wasn't just all on the offensive line. Our backs have to do a little better job in the pass protections, you know, and our receivers have to get off of, uh, get out of the routes. We, you know, everything ties in. We've got to be able to throw the ball on time and then go through our progression on time and not have to hold the ball entirely too long to where the protection can break down. So you know, there's always more factors than just, just the, uh, the offensive line. Well, you know, as far as showing me, I think the way he just came, came back and, and uh, approached me about wanting to help the team, very humble, very humble spirit, and I'm, I'm into that. I'm into kids that, that are, if you make a mistake and you're from remorseful and you, you admit it and you're, you're willing to, to move forward, and I mean, I'm, I'm all for giving kids another opportunity. And, and uh, I really think he's in a, a good state of mind. He wants to help the team. And, uh, I, but I told him you've got to earn it just like the rest of those guys. You've got to go out and practice. You've got to practice well. You've got to perform at practice. And you've got to do all the little things off the field. And if he does that, he'll have a chance to earn playing time right away, not only uh, defensively but in special teams. And I think that's another you know, key player coming back that hopefully will help us in the second half of the season because we've got a lot of football left to be played. Everybody good? All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.